This is the Johnson Space Center. It is a working space center with mission controls right now that are communicating with the International Space Station. But for years, the original mission control center responsible for those historic Apollo flights sat neglected until now. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Right up. Go. Right. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. This go. is the result, the newly restored Mission Control Center where visitors can stand or sit in the viewing lounge and watch a series of highlights recreating some of the most dramatic moments of the 1969 moon mission. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. And it's all about the details, so remember, it was 1969. This, this isn't for your phone. This is, of course, an ashtray. These were 3D printed just so you can have the same experience sitting in the chair, of course, without the smoke hanging in the air. Three, two, one, one. lift off. Hey. Well for the relaunch of Mission Control, many of the original Apollo controllers returned, including Gene Krantz, the flight director who was working when the Eagle landed and Neil Armstrong took those first steps. He talked to CBC News about the emotion at seeing Mission Control come back to life. This is a place where history was made. The books were written. The challenges were issued. They were controlled. We moved forward. The accepted risk is the price of progress. And at times we went too far too fast. We lost a crew, but we picked the ball up and continued to run forward even stronger. But as much as NASA is focused on preserving its history, it's also very much looking forward into the future, talking about plans already underway for a new mission to the moon, a giant leap featuring the first step by a woman on the lunar surface in 2024.